guys! How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day, and if not, I hope I can make it a little better. It's Mermaid, everybody! I haven't forgotten! No! So I thought, let's use these fun items to make some deep water permaids. <laughs> let's get going! <laughs> Okay, so for any of you who don't know, May is Mermaid, which is like literally you make mermaids art, you draw mermaids, you paint mermaids, whatever you feel happiest with. Um, permaids are cat mermaids and deep sea permaids are ones that live under the water because I've had a lot of requests to do some more art uh, using these Faber Castell pastel sparkle pencils. They don't actually sparkle, it's just these bits on them that sparkle on black paper. I also thought it'd be a great excuse to use these amazing, I do mean amazing, <laughs> Amsterdam Pearl Acrylics. And if you're curious, this is my uh, Oxford Helix, sorry, Helix Oxford erasable colouring pencil. And this is the amazing Frisk black watercolour paper. Um, I could just use normal black paper with my pencils, but because I'm using acrylics, I wanted to use something a bit tougher. Um, yeah, I mean, let's let's just get into it. Let's draw some cute deep sea cats. Okay, I've got my paper. I've got my mermaid brush. I've got my palette. I've got some water and some paper to clean up on. <clears throat> so let's get going. And first things first, I want to do the background, the scenery for our mermaids to exist around. Um, it's the bottom of the ocean because that's where deep sea creatures live uh so really it shouldn't show up too much but obviously we want to be able to see it because it's painting um so i thought i would use these pearl acrylics to sort of just suggest a habitat for them and hopefully not mess it up and these are so cool you squeeze them out of their tube and as you can see they just sort of look white and as you can see of all the tubes they just look white um but the moment you spread them onto black paper they just come alive um i'm not sketching out first because they're a little bit transparent because you know they're, they're pearlized they're like a topper i'd say more than an actual paint for the entire painting uh, so i'm just gonna sort of <laughs> rough it out I just want some rocks for our permits to exist around. I want to make acrylic too wet. I mean, you can make acrylic a little bit wet, but you don't want to like water it down too much. Listen to me, I sound like such an expert. <laughs> I'm not an expert. <laughs> I just know you don't want to make it too wet. <laughs> I'm always terrified though when I put out acrylic, like you're gonna, that like, I'm gonna put out too much and waste it. Because obviously, when acrylic paint dries, you can't reactivate it like you can with watercolour. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm also nervous that I'm not going to be able to tell which paint is which when I put it in the palette. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. <sighs> Can I make this rock a bit? I think I want to make this rock a bit bigger. question of the day is did any of you participate in mermaid i know that there are like challenges that you can do kind of like inktober did any of you do it i've been on holiday so <laughs> i have not i've also been ill <laughs> so you know one of my resolutions for this year for my art channel was to put my health first so on the days when i haven't been well enough to record i haven't okay that's that let's put another silver rock in um one thing about rocks is that they <laughs> they can be any shape
Okay, that's some rocks. Let's do another set. And um, I think let's do some gold ones. You can see how it looks white as well, like the silver paint. Um, bit there. So you can even see in the uh, the palette, it looks exactly like the silver. But get ready for this. This is wait. I should wash my brush first. That was silly. Okay. Right. Get ready for this. This is gonna be like ah. <laughs> so my video of testing these is just going like so viral. Ah, oh, look at that! It's gold, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I made a video of me testing these for TikTok, and it's got like it's gone like mini viral. Well, for me, probably not properly viral for proper TikTok people. But yeah, if you didn't know, I've got a TikTok. It's at Enchanted Violin. Check me out. Just short versions of the videos I make on here really with sometimes some extra content um, but I'm also currently you may have noticed uploading my TikToks onto my YouTube shorts that might be how you've discovered me if that is how you've discovered me hello <laughs> really great to see you on one of my longer form videos I hope you enjoy this really probably should have waited for the silver layer to dry but you know it's quite a hot day here so maybe it'll dry faster than <laughs> i hope and actually look you can see the difference on how it shows up on white background versus um a dark background okay i might actually use some of this to uh, put some shading silver rocks. Oh, that looks quite nice. I, I guess underwater won't really be that shaded, would it? But it's happening. Hmm. Okay. Now, shall we put in some seaweed and some corals? Because... I know we're like deep down underwater that there'd still be something, right? Um, let's do some corals next in this sort of pinky colour. Okay. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's just so gorgeous. It's, it's like painting with magic. It's like previously I've used metallic watercolors on this paper and like you can look at the uh the watercolor in its pan and you can kind of guess what it's going to look like but these are just so like so wild you just have no idea what they're going to be like until you put them on paper notice you don't want to put it on too thick because then it gets a bit gluey but I did also notice when it dries the the transparent the white area goes transparent so you just get the glitter uh, hey should we have a go at shading the gold rock with the pink should we see how that goes let's see how that goes it's quite nice don't hate it. Don't hate it. <laughs> um, oh, might look a bit weirder on this one. Oh well. <laughs> it's layering in a weird way. <laughs> okay. We'll call it that with that one. Okay. Let's do some more oh, just look at it oh. A 
little bit of shading on this. I don't know how this will turn out. <laughs> Put a little bit of <laughs> shading. <laughs> shading on this one it will either look good or it will just look blotchy but it's okay it's okay okay and now i want to do some seaweed and i think let's do some panel breaking shall we oh it was gorgeous oh <laughs> it's so pink i love it i love it i just it's like painting with magic I love anything that's like magic. <laughs> it just makes art so much more fun. Oh, yes. Oh. This brush is just owning this paint if you're curious because some people do ask it's just a brush from hobbycraft um it's not a fancy pants brush just it came in a set of other mermaid themed brushes i got it entirely because it was mermaid themed because why not <laughs> it's not branded but it gets the job done it is one of my favorite brushes I'm going to put one here, but I don't know how it's going to show up. Oh, no, not too bad. Okay, you know, actually, I've made a bit of a mistake there, so I might put one here as well. Bloop. Okay, so that's the background done. I'm going to bloop, let it dry thoroughly. We'll come back can draw some permaids on. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're all dry now and you can see how in places where I put the paint kind of heavy, such as here, the white has disappeared to just leave the pearlized metallic look. So yeah, I'm <laughs> really happy. Uh, now I'm going to use my erasable colouring pencil to sketch in lightly uh, some permaids um, because they're deep sea permaids. Uh, they're gonna look like kind of like anglerfish and have little dots and stuff on them because like you know bioluminescence is a thing when you're deep sea when you're a deep sea permaid <laughs> okay um but yeah i'm just gonna sketch first because like i don't trust myself to go straight in with the other pencils um this one shouldn't show up too much because it's not designed really to go on black paper Have you guys ever drawn permaids? I feel like they're a must if you like cats. I really like fish with big long tails. So I'm breaking the frame again here. Just lightly sketch it in for the moment. I don't want to erase too much on this paper because it kind of it changes the texture and you know it does show up on black paper more than it does whoops excuse me <laughs> and it does show up more on uh, black paper than white paper um, yeah, I just really just want to get a general idea have big eyes because they're underwater where it's dark <laughs> oh that looks weird <laughs>
paws in. Oh, talking about purr maids, I think I just heard Norma say hello. You're right, Norma. She's unhappy because it's a nice day and she wants me to be outside with her. I think we've got space for one more. What do you think? Now where to put it? Should I have it peeping out or coming in? Oh, choices, huh? Maybe let's have it peeping out. Let's have it peeping out. Oh, <laughs> Norma, the window's not open. You can't go out. Oh, I know. It's not fair, is it? Do you want to help me do parmaids? That's a cup of tea. You won't like that. Yes, Norma. Oh, she's just discovered that my window opens because it's getting a bit hot now. So when I'm not recording, I have my window open. Not only has she discovered that my window opens, she's discovered that she can <laughs> squeeze out of it onto my roof. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> Are you gonna get in now, huh? Norma. No. Oh dear. Okay, I think that's good for my free cats. So now I'm gonna go in with these.
with that glow looking towards the dorbs. I'm now gonna really roughly draw the frame. A bit bolder line. Uh, there it is. Now I've got one more thing that I want to do. Let's put this pencil back. The observant of you will know that I did not use the blue acrylic. I'm gonna make some bubbles! Oh yeah, let's make some bubbles! <laughs> um, just to show you, once again, <laughs> it's gonna go in the pan white. watching me use the pastel pencils or the pearlized paints i'd love to know because i really enjoy doing work on black paper and i'd love to do more uh i did this because somebody requested to see the pastel pencils again and i'm just like yeah <laughs> of course i will um so anyway thank you for making it to the end of the video with me i'd love to know what your favorite part was if you could leave a comment in the comment section below if you could like subscribe turn on notifications that would be amazing you can follow me at enchanted violin on instagram and tiktok links will be in the description box below as well as links to my online comic companions and happy mermaid <laughs> happy mermaid i'll see you next time bye